So, Blender 3.0 just came out, I just finished downloading it, and started checking it out to see what's new, and I'll be very honest, I was genuinely surprised with it. I think something that's always bothered me personally with Blender was for like three years, a new version would release, and I always felt like rigging and animation were really not a priority at all, because for me, all I do is character rigging and animation, and it always seemed disappointing to watch a new release of Blender and see that rigging and animation maybe got one or two updates and grease pencil and cycles would get like 35 updates. So when I was watching the new release video yesterday, I honestly expected to be disappointed again. But to my surprise, looks like animation was the primary focus this time around. And I was shocked because I really did not expect that. And believe it or not, I actually don't enjoy hating things for fun. I'd much rather spend my time improving my skill or giving credit where it's due. And in this case, I think the Blender 3.0 team definitely did a great job and deserves to be praised today. So fantastic job guys. I love the new look and I think the new tools are going to save animators a lot of time. That being said, there are small things Blender could do from here that would make huge improvements to the user experience. And I think it's very important that Blender makes these improvements because whether you like it or not, your competition is watching you and paying very close attention to your weakness. As many of you know, I started my journey to try and learn to be a professional character designer and through messaging and talking with people on ArtStation who are much more talented than me, when I asked them why don't you use Blender, the common answer is basically because while it can do everything, it's really really not the best at anything. And they break it down something like this. AutoCAD is the best for realistic modeling and architecture. ZBrush is the best sculpting software. Substance is the best texture software. Maya is the best animation and retopology software. Marvelous Designer is the best clothing creation software. Adobe Premiere is the go-to video editing software. And if you ever really want to render something amazing in motion, you can do that for free in Unreal Engine. So the question for most professionals becomes, at what point in my workflow is Blender the best choice? And when confronted with this question, it became apparent to me that Blender's biggest strength is, well, it's free. I mean, there are things I think it does better than everyone, like Grease Pencil, but if we're talking about the professional industry, really Blender's strategy is being free. And the problem with that is the competition is very aware of this. And it's very obvious that they're starting to target this strength. Houdini is really pushing its free soft versions. ZBrush has free trials. And Maya is constantly pushing its prices down lower and lower. To the point where I'm actually shocked at how good the indie version of Maya is. But the point is, if Blender does not keep improving at the rate that its competition is cutting its prices, it's gonna find itself in a tight spot. Because these other software are really good. And there are very good reasons to use them depending on what you're doing. And they're clearly trying to make new cuts into Blender's territory. But two can play at that game. The same way the competition copies Blender, Blender can copy the competition. And I would like to see Blender fight back. So I would like to spend the next couple videos covering things I really think Blender needs to steal from other software. But for now, I think this video is long enough and I just want to say incredible job to the Blender team. Let's keep that momentum up. Hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.